Guys, I got something on my mind. Can we talk for a sec? Just like real quick? Can we do that? No, you guys don't want to talk to me. Okay, that's all right. But ready or not, I have the floor for five minutes. So deal with that. Um, before we start, I have to get something off my chest. Can we do that? Between yeah. you guys and me and, uh -huh. and whoever watches us on YouTube later? Yeah. Whew, okay. Um, <laughs> wow, I've never I've never said this out loud before, but uh, I am a proud bitch drink buyer. You guys don't know what bitch drinks are. Do you Do you know what a bitch drink is? No, no. Do you guys know bitch drinks? Bitch drinks. Mm -hmm. Some nods. Some people who just don't want to talk to me, and I don't know why you're in the front row. Um, that's okay. It's fine. A bitch drink has got 14 words in its name and 15 ingredients in the beverage, right? Okay, a bitch drink tastes like what a Lisa Frank Trapper Keeper looks like. Right? Uh, look, guys, I don't know what age we thought they were. They're Lisa Frank Trapper Keeper years old. That's what we got now. Uh, a bitch drink is a lot like me because it doesn't look that dangerous, but it'll ruin your night if you don't handle it properly. Okay, so those are bitch drinks and they're delicious. I love them. If you're trying to better understand the drink schema, there's also man drinks. Mandrinks taste like swallowing a still smoldering campfire log. Mandrinks have words in the name that aren't food. Mandrinks are what you drink not to enjoy yourself, but to prove yourself. I don't get it. But this will help. I do have a useful hypothetical, right? So if you're not sure, if you're thinking, am I a bitch drink buyer? Consider this. You're in the woods. You are tired. You are lost and you're hungry. If you're a bitch drink buyer, you're gonna find a tree, pluck a fruit from it, and eat the fruit. If you're a man drink connoisseur, you're gonna gnaw on the bark because you're the toughest boy out there. <laughs> I don't get it, but uh, none of this is to say that I don't purchase man drinks. I do that too. Uh, this was a while ago. Do you guys remember bars just being naturally open without any kind of underlying disease tension. Mm -hmm. When you would go out like with boobs and without a male chaperone and like a Sean person would approach you and he'd be like, hey, let me buy you a drink. And you'd be like, okay, okay. And he'd be like, what do you want? And you'd be like, I don't know, I want tequila. I want tequila. And he'd be like, ooh, like that meant something. Right? Yeah. The ladies are like, yeah, I know, tequila, it means something to boys. Um, I don't know what it means, but it does. And so he would ask for tequila, and now the bartender becomes a bit player in your master plan, and you feel bad because he's cutting the limes, getting the salt shaker, making the virgin sacrifice, doing all the things that you do to set up a tequila shot, right? right? Mm -hmm. But he has to do it. It's all part of the plan. Because then Sean Person grabs the drink like this. Why does he do this? He, it, it's a, nothing sexier though, right ladies? <laughs> There's one of these. Um, so he does that, you take it, and you go cheers! And he goes cheers, because now he thinks he's getting laid, right? He's bought in. He's paid the, point, the fee. And then uh, he turns, he licks his hand, he salts it, squeezes the lime, and I've already taken the shot neat and gone to the next bar. <laughs> I see you not laugh. Thank you. Thank you. They're clapping because they've done it. If you're not laughing, it's because it's happened to you. And you're still bitter. And that's okay. But I'm glad we talked about bitch drinks. Y'all learned something tonight, yeah? yeah? We all know what bitch drinks are? Yeah. Good, good. Um, I do want to address one more thing while I have your all attention, uh, since you guys didn't really want to listen anyway. But I have you here for one minute. Um, bags. It's called bags. You fuckers call it cornhole. <laughs> cornhole! You're throwing bean bags into a hole. It's called bags. Cornhole sounds like something in the rural Kama Sutra. <laughs> cornhole sounds like what happens to your ass if you use too much country toilet paper, okay? Can we all agree right now? Take a pledge, right hand up. Right hand up, come on. Come on, thank you, thank you. We've got like a bunch of people from Chicago and everyone else is not interested. Okay, it's called bags, one, two, three. It's called bags.
I love <laughs> you're my favorite because I just see you agree. You get it. Are you from Chicago? No. No? Oh, you're just smart. I love it. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. I'm glad that I got to tell you something about myself and insult your intelligence. Let's leave all the butt talk behind us and play some bags. Thank you. Never heard the word bags that much in my entire life. That's pretty, pretty cool.